Hey guys, what's up? And I am Supercharge Patrol Red and welcome to my channel. So this video is gonna be about the top 8 cheapest used performance cars available in India. I already did a video on the top 5 cheapest sports cars in India which are brand new. So if you wanna watch it, I will put a link to that video in the description so you can check it out. So coming back to this video, many of us in India wanted a performance car but we can't afford one brand new. But thanks to the gods of depreciation, the cars in this list have become somewhat affordable to average Joes like you and me. So without boring you guys, let's get straight to the video. The number 8 spot goes to Jaguar's XJR. With a 5 liter screaming V8, putting out around 390 horsepower and 400 newton meters of torque. Now this is the expensive one in the list, but considering it is a big luxury limousine, I don't think it matters a lot. Now there are lots of examples available in the pre-owned market from 2009 to 2010 for about 28 to 50 lakhs depending upon the year and specs and the total mileage of the car. But if you want one, be ready to face huge maintenance bills as these luxury cars are not exactly what you can call as reliable. But on the other hand, you could have all the cool and crazy gadgets and luxury features of 2010. So if you like it, then buy it. Some of you might be pissed now from hearing the price. Hey, you said cheap cars and you were saying cars at 50 lakhs. But don't worry, the cars price will decrease as the list advances and you don't want to miss the number one car in the list. So stick until the end of the video or just skip to the end if you are an impatient baboon like me. So the next spot, which is the number 7 spot in the list, goes to Porsche's 911 Carrera from 2004 to 2006. Yes, the Carrera might be the base model of 911, but hey, it is still a Porsche 911. It had a 3.6 liter flat 6 producing 325 horsepower and 450 Nm of torque. And there were Carrera S models as well with a 3.8 liter flat 6 with a power output of about 355 horsepower. Now there are not many examples of 911 from that time available in the market, so prices may not be accurate, but expect to pay anywhere from 35 to 40 lakhs, which is not too bad for what you are getting. The number 6 spot in the list goes to Nissan's 350Z from 2007 and 2008. Now the 350Z is the affordable sports car in Nissan's lineup, but too bad Nissan don't sell them in India. And also, most 350Zs in India are imports. It had a 3.5 liter V6 with the output of around 306 horsepower and 363 Nm of torque. It was available with a 6 speed manual and 5 speed auto. And there are few convertibles available as well. So, if you are a JDM fan, it doesn't get better than this. They are priced at around 28 to 35 lakhs depending upon the amount it's raised which is quite a decent amount of money but hey it is a JDM icon so can't argue with that. So the number 5 spot in the list goes to Porsche Boxster from 2010. It had a 2.9 liter flat 6 producing 255 horsepower and the S variant had a 3.4 liter flat 6 producing 310 horsepower. It is one of the best handler in the entire Porsche range. Well I can't talk from experience as I have never driven one. But I can say that confidently because many famous journalists price it for its handling. So all of them can't be wrong, isn't it? But coming back to it, it is a mid-engine, two-door, two-seater sports convertible. And if you want one, it will set you back by about 28 to 35 lakhs depending upon the spec of the particular car. The number 4 in the list is Jaguar's XFR from 2010, the pre-facelift model. The pre-facelift model is much cheaper than the facelifted model because it looked ugly. Because looks are not that important thing about the car because it had a 5 liter V8 producing around 400 horsepower and 420 Nm of torque. But the sweet thing is it costs only around 23 to 28 lakhs and there are lots of examples at this price range and if you are a good negotiator you may chop some money off the price as well. Which makes it a great value for money because it is the cheapest way to get a V8 in India. But remember, it will cost you to maintain and keep it running. Not just this car, everything in this list is gonna cost you some money in maintenance. But moving on to the number 3 spot, which is Audi's TT from 2008. 
it came with a both a 2 liter inline 4 cylinder producing 200 horsepower and a 3.2 liter V6 producing 250 horsepower it came with the Audi's famed quattro all wheel drive system it is a great performer and a great handler there are tons of cars available in the market ranging from 23 to 30 lakhs which is pretty decent for what you are getting and also Audi has more dealership network than some of the other cars in this list so even if something breaks you would at least have enough dealership for your cars to get repaired now the number two in the list goes to DC Avanti yes it may not be the full-on production car it is more of a kit car but who cares it is the first sports car to ever come out of India it had a Renault source 2 liter inline 4 cylinder producing 250 horsepower and 340 newton meters of torque which is pretty decent number it didn't have airbags and even ABS so if you want a true unadulterated feel get this car and it will set you back by about 20 to 28 lakhs depending upon the year and specs so yes we have come to the number one spot in the list if you are still watching wow you give yourself a pat in the back for dealing with me for this long but coming back to this video the number one spot in the list goes to 2004 Lexus GS 300 you know until a few months back I didn't even know this car existed in India but you might be thinking what's the big deal because it is just an old Lexus right no it is not just a old Lexus the Lexus GS 300 sold around the world is not so special it had a 3 liter straight 6 but however the one sold in Japan is special as it had the legendary 3 liter straight 6 twin turbo engine known as 2JC now if it doesn't know 2JC I suggest you get back to the rock that you are living under for this long but jokes apart this engine produced around 350 horsepower and in India they are imported from Japan so we got the 2JC now this car is pretty rare so you might have to go on an expedition to find one with a 2JC engine in India now the most interesting part is most guys who even owns this car does not know much about it so recently and nearly a month ago I found a 2004 GS300 pop up in a pre-owned site for only 6 lakh rupees and it was gone the next day itself I guess someone bought it right away there are some available as well but they are not from Japan so they didn't have the 2JC either but whatever if you can find one it is a great car with a legendary engine for so little money so that's it guys for this video I hope you guys liked it and if you are watching still I want to say thank you because it is the people like you that keeps me motivated to keep doing this so special thank you to you so i will see you in the next video until then supercharged petrol head here over and out